In this quick tutorial, I'm going to put three copies of an image onto an A4 sized canvas. So first I click on File and New. And in the template bar, I click on the drop down arrow and then click on A4. And then click OK. And then to open the image, I click on File again, and this time I click on Open as Layers. And then I double click on the photo. Now because an A4 size is just under 300 millimeters high, I know that my image can't be more than 99 millimeters high to fit three copies on the page. So I'm going to have to scale it down. And in this case, I'll actually scale it down to 95 millimeters high so that I can have a little bit of white around the edge. Now to do that, I click on the scale tool in the toolbox and then I click on the image. I click on the chain to link it and then I select the height number and I'm changing it as I said to 95. Then I press the enter key on my keyboard and click on scale to confirm the scale. And now I make two copies of that layer, so that there are three in total. Then I click on the Move tool in the toolbox, place my cursor over the top copy, and move it to the bottom. Then I place my cursor over the next one, and move it to where I'd like, and the other. Now the Move tool will work on any layer, whether it's selected or not. It moves the image which is directly below the cursor at the time. And if you accidentally drag on the white or the background layer, it will also move that. Now if you do that, you could try and move that background layer back. But the easiest way to fix it is simply click on Edit in the menu bar and come down and click on Undo Move Layer. Now when you've got your three images where you'd like them to be, click on Image in the menu bar and come down and click on Flatten Image. And that turns it into one layer. Then simply export it by clicking on File, Export, give it a name, um, I'll call it A4, I want it to go to my pictures, so I click on Pictures, and then click on Export and export again. And I'm exporting mine as a PNG, but you may like to export yours as a JPG. So I hope that that made sense, but just let us know if you've got any problems.